What is your solution to the growing violence in this nation? And should we amend or abolish the obsolete Second Amendment? You made the assumption that I do not want all teachers to be armed. Um, <coughs> the Second Amendment is a necessary and structurally integral part of our Constitution. People have always gone armed. I mean, in the Renaissance, the, the most flowering period of intellectualism and beauty and art, look at, look at all of the paintings of all of these sweet faces. They all have swords and a dagger. And when pistols came along, a pistol stuffed in their belt. These were the, the literati of the time. We're, we're our people too. We don't no longer use swords, or for me they'd be too heavy to lift, but, but we, have, we have firearms. There is no difference. There is no difference whatsoever. We have a fundamental right to protect ourselves. There is no magic button that you can push when a burglar has broken into your house and is holding a gun to your head. There's no button you can push to make the police magically materialize between you and the police. They are not here to protect. They are here to clean up after you've been shot in the head. I'm sorry. Please, people, we are responsible for our own safety and the safety of those that we love, our families, our wives, our children. So, I, 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 you know, if anybody has ever Googled me, if you can find, you know, three pictures in a row that do not have me carrying a gun, I will eat my shoe right here. Um, <laughs> So I don't think there should be any doubt what, what side of the line I stand on. Not because I'm warlike. I've never drawn a gun on anybody. But I've never been unarmed either. Uh, and please, it's the most fundamental right, the right to self-protection. Thank you.